Wow, who would have thought? Uh, Brexit, 24th of June 2016. Um, as a consulting business, I know we're going to be asked to forecast and predict what's going to happen now on such a seismic day, but I think we've all seen some of the dangers of forecasting, even as late as last night we saw markets uh, rising on the expectation of a Remain vote. So I'm a little bit sceptical about forecasting, but what I do like to do is look at information, data, facts that I've seen in the past to help me judge what I, I think a future outcome might be for Britain. I believe we'll see two years of uncertainty uh, with Brexit. I think over the next two years we'll find out exactly what the challenges and implications are. It's difficult to say at this given time what this really means. Some industries will win, for example tourism. With the decline in the exchange rate, we will see perhaps tourists find it much cheaper to come to the UK. The fishing industry in the UK might benefit because it was held back. One of the opportunities for UK could be, because of the decline of the pound against major currencies, is that manufacturing in the UK might become much cheaper than it's on the European continent. I think it means British industry has to find an identity. British companies need to be known the world over for key aspects of, of, of business, be it quality, be it uh, tradition, be it uh, after sales care, be it technology, whatever it might be. We need to forge an identity in Britain. I think the question will be asked, when in any structure, when a key foundation block is moved, we haven't been removed yet, let's not forget, but we've certainly been shifted along a bit, and over time we will be removed, then that creates instability with the overall structure. And as one of the largest economies within the EU, then this will create waves around uh, Europe, and I suspect other countries will consider their position. Yeah, the Brexit will have a huge uh, impact on the future of Europe. Um, Europe itself will see a decline in the total contribution to GDP. We could have other countries. Uh, we, there are a number of nationalist parties in many countries in Europe, including in Italy, which will take this as an opportunity to become more popular within their states. So there is a risk that we might see a possible disintegration of Europe in the future.